In fact, a follow-up segment tonight, more San Francisco values on display. According to the San Francisco Chronicle, Mayor Gavin Newsom officially proclaimed February 23rd as Cult Studio Day. And what is that? Well, Cult Studios makes gay pornography. Mayor wouldn't talk with us about it, so we went to him. On Friday, your office penned a letter in, uh, honoring Colt Studios, and the question is why? Uh, it actually came to my attention yesterday. It's a good question. The fact is, I don't know enough about uh, the organization to even pass judgment, uh, but what I, little I do know, I was surprised that someone on my behalf wrote something on my behalf uh, expressing uh, uh, an opinion that they never passed through uh, my office directly. It raises a question, sometimes things that are maybe politically might play politically expediently in San Francisco. Could be misinterpreted yeah. elsewhere? Yeah, of course. But I mean, you know, I don't get caught up in all that. I let other people get caught up on all that. And people uh, forgive and forget. And if they don't, that's fine. That's their business. All right. Joining us from San Francisco, former Board of Supervisors President Angela Aliota. Do you get the feeling things are out of control a little bit? And the mayor doesn't even know who's signing the proclamations honoring Cult Day and Cult is a gay porn outfit. You get the feeling maybe it's a little out of control? Um, actually, no. Let me let me just say that you know, on a serious, on a serious, of course, it's ridiculous uh, honoring um, any kind of porn, gay, straight, or any kind of porn. It's it's outrageous, actually. Um, but the issue here is one of these certificates. Gavin, is, I spoke to Gavin this afternoon. There's been over three years of certificates, and this has never happened. Um, it did move, though. The certificate giving situ uh, organization moved to to neighborhood services about eight months ago or so. Um, he, he told me to tell you, uh, you know, thanks very much for calling it to his attention. <laughs> and he's going to change the protocol. Well, look, you know, because he's, it's that, he's the mayor, but, Angela. There's not I, another I city, there's not another city in the country that has ever had a gay porn day. Not one. I, I, All uh, right? Please, ever. please, please. You're, you are breaking my San Francisco heart. Don't even mention <laughs> gay porn day to me. And, and it's gay porn it with day. My Hooray. Okay. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. You know what the mayor did say, and it's very true. An elected uh, supervisor brought the, the certificate to um, the Neighborhood Service Department of the mayor's office. When someone with that kind of representation brings it to uh, the person in the mayor's office, I mean, the mayor cannot be checking two and three hundred oh, certificates. I, of course he can't, but the guy should be fired immediately. And, there's, and nobody would dare do that even here in New York. Even in New York, which is a very liberal city, nobody would dare do this because there would be consequences. The problem with San Francisco, there are no consequences for this action. And here's how bad it is, not just San Francisco. Mark Leno, a California assemblyman, and Jose Cisneros, the treasurer of city and county of San Francisco, also issued a cult gay porn proclamation from Sacramento. So basically, you have the, you just, you have the state just, of California <laughs> honoring the gay porn people, as well as the city of San Francisco. And you wonder why San Francisco values is mocked and your city is mocked and it's looked upon as a modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. You wonder, Angela? Come on. This is, one, this is one of the greatest cities in the world, Bill. Make no mistake. Well, I, we don't are look, a world look, if class, something happens, I don't want you. Class city. Yeah, world class. We're and world you have class a world city, class and porn have, day. Gay porn we day. We don't have a. <laughs> and, you know, I'm worried about you. Ballet offering I'm, wor I'm worried about have. you, Angela, because I don't want don't you to. Don't you worry about us. No, We're I'm the worried about city you. In the United States. Because I don't want you to turn to salt. All right? Yeah, and I'm not turning to salt. Because when the big, when the big one comes, if you turn and look back, you know what the Bible says, you'll turn to salt. Come on. Hey, don't worry about me. All right. I'm worried about Mayor Newsom. You tell him. I'm worried about him. I think he's no, lost control. No, there's no question. There's no question there needs to be some disciplinary action that takes place <laughs> with the person. That I don't have any question about it, but you've got to look at the supervisor and the assemblyman that does this. Fine. Who in the world does this? And they went to the event. Well, so, we'll I see. Mean, with all Angela, look, respects. when there's disciplinary action, and I hope it doesn't involve whips and chains, you call us back and we'll, we'll discuss it. Angela Aliota, it everybody. Let's change. all pray she doesn't turn to hey, salt. Hey, Bill, come and, come and visit <laughs> well, us. I know. They'd, I love that. Maybe on the next, uh, no. When we come I'd back, step right it. up, step right up.